Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And today I wanted to walk you through how I was able to bring this uh, animation to life using the audio to face plugin for iClone from Realusion. And uh, it's an exciting, exciting update. And so let me walk you through real quick how I did it. But first we can listen real quick to how this sounds. Just a second here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy, and I'm the leader of the Special Weapons and Tactics team here. Today, I address you with a matter of utmost urgency and seriousness. We are currently in pursuit of a highly advanced AI-powered robot that has been involved in multiple incidents of theft. So, you can listen to the full video on my YouTube channel. I just recently up uploaded it. So anyways, let's go about uh, showing you how I was able to achieve this. And uh, let me minimize this for now. So what I used was this plugin called Audio to Face. It's an AI powered voice to animation from Realusion. It works with our uh, Omniverse Audio to Face and iClone 8, right? So you need those two. So it is a free download for that you install into your Omniverse. And you have to make sure that you have the Omniverse Launcher. And in the Omniverse Launcher, make sure you have Audio to Face installed because without it, you won't be able to run this plugin, right? Once you've done downloaded it and installed it successfully, and there's a tutorial on the Realusion YouTube channel that walks you through that. I'll do another video uh, to talk about how just how I went through the entire process from beginning to end, right? But once you have it installed, it will show up in your extensions, right? And let's look for CC. And it will be here. Uh, it's called uh, CC Character Auto Setup. And when you click on that, make sure that uh, it's enabled and auto uh, load is checked. And so that's when you know you've successfully installed it, right? And always check out for the new version here so that you know you're working with the most recent one. Okay. But once it's installed, then there's going to be a new menu that shows up up at the top. And this is uh, the one that's going to help you to process the character that you've imported from iClone into uh, audio to face. And this is just an overview. Just I just want to show you how I was able to, again, work on this animation and bring it from beginning to from where I said to how I ended up here. And so this is the head that I was able to import, uh, the character head. And that one came from uh, iClone. So this character was made using Character Creator 4 and using a 3D Scan Store. And also the outfits are from CC4 as well, okay? So as you can see, this is the final animation itself after it's been brought into iClone. But let's go back to on, uh, audio to face so I can show you how this works. So I loaded a custom audio file and this one. Uh, Ladies and file. gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy and I'm the leader of the special weapons and tactics team here. And you can see how well the lips are moving in here, right? Today, I address you with a matter of utmost urgency and... This is the beauty of audio to face. So the idea of this uh, plugin is in the event that you don't have an iPhone, right? And you don't have a head mounted camera rig that you will be able to still help your characters to talk. If you're creating like a short film and you have a character that you've made using CC4, that you'll be able to create facial animation with it, right? And what's really cool is that you have the ability to add uh, additional animation over here. So for example, uh, if I click on generate keyframes, it's going to go through and process the, uh, the emotions from this audio file. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead and click generate. So first, let's play it back so you can see that there are really is not enough emotion just yet. In seriousness, we are currently in pursuit of a highly advanced AI-powered robot that has been in... Right? But if I go down here and click on generate emotion keyframes, it's going to go through and it's going to process the audio file and it's going to then create like uh, anger, fear, depending on the peaks and in the audio file. So let's do that. Let's click and just wait for it. Depending on, again, on how fast your computer is, this might take a little bit longer or really fast. So this is done actually. So if we rewind, 
and play it back. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy, and I'm the leader of the special weapons and tactics team here. Today, I had. So you can actually see the eyebrows and the muscles in the face moving, and all of these things you can control in here. But what's amazing is that even after you've done this, when you get to iClone, you have even more control to be able to. Uh, change the facial animation and the nuances okay so once you have you're happy with the animation from audio to face and you've customized it the way you want here the next stage is to select this character click on it go to real illusion over here and over here on the edge audio to face tab on this one make sure you put a path where you're going to find this file and also the the name make sure you name it right and then when you're ready, go ahead to Realogen up at the top, go Character Setup, and press Export, right? Once you press Export, it's going to put the files in here, in this folder. And let me see if I can actually copy this so I can show you what the files look like. So once you press a Export, it's going to put the files in here. So there will be a, a face, weight, tongue, and the tuner right these are very important because when you go to iclone those are the ones that you're going to import so once you are done this is actually pretty much you don't need audio face going forward so just minimize that and then in iclone just select your character right and go to plugins over here go to nvidia audio to face plugin and of course this you would have installed and i'm hoping that you've at this point you've successfully installed it click on nvidia audio to face and then here on the facial animation, go ahead and browse to this folder and select the first file, which is the face BS weight with the name of the file that you, and then click open. And it's going to automatically find the tongue animation in the audio file that you use. It will automatically detect, uh, select all of that. And then when you're ready, just uh, click on create, right? And once you've created, then you have the ability to go in here and fine tune Every time that you do your fine tuning, make sure that you click on apply at the bottom here. So if once you've applied, you see that uh, it's th this will become activated after you've clicked on the create button, right? So there's so much like you can do in here. You can even smooth out the animation if you see like any jittery, any jitteriness happening. So, and then once it's all in here, this will be like an end result, right? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy. And I also recommend that when you, while you're doing this, make sure you switch to the quick mode because you're going to get like much faster feedback and probably also minimize the timeline because you're going to, let's see the frame rate that you're going to get. So we're getting a 91 Ladies and gentlemen, there. my name is Captain Murphy. Right? And it's actually fine to go ahead and uh, remove some of these things as you're editing and then when you're ready you can switch to high mode again depending on your graphics card this will be impacted by the amount of ram that you have and so this is the final animation matter of utmost urgency and seriousness and another cool thing is that with this character selected you can also click or find or click the character go to the look at constraint and click on look at camera and in here, you can see the weight of the head is over to the side, but you can also adjust so that it's just the eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy, and I'm the lead. So the way, this is really important because then you can bake this animation later on, the constraint. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy. So you can balance how much you want the eyes to focus on the camera and how much of the head is, is directing. So it could be the head or you could use the, the eyes, right? So watch this. So as I'm doing this, you can see the head overriding the focus on the eyes, right? So anyway, that's what I wanted to point out to you, that this plugin is amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. And uh, once you can also, if you have an iPhone, you can polish this up and add facial animation of your own performance and like layer this, 
So that's the amazing thing about uh, iClone 8. So you can use you can use Motion Live and be able to then layer the animation and uh, use the an iPhone to drive the your performance so that you can add those subtle you know expressions, right? So once you're done here, you could render this as it is right now inside of uh, iClone, right? If you're doing like previews, but there's another step where you could actually send this to the Unreal Engine for rendering. So you can see that even though uh, the iClone is, look, the character may look okay here, but you can get better appearance because as you can see here, this character was rendered inside of the Unreal Engine and you get control or that you get the control that you get with the sequencer, the camera shake and all of that, right? In the real time rendering. So the way I did that is I select this character, go to plugins, right? And then go to Unreal Live Link and click on that. And this will enable you to send, you can do the transfer, you can include the motion, include the range of the animation. Then there's this new feature called Bake All Animations to Select Sequencer because that sequencer, you're able to then load it inside of the Unreal Engine in any scene. And then you're able to place that character in there. So I was able to find a station where I wanted the our police officer to be. And I loaded that sequence and it just had to move it into place here, position the camera, create cameras and the lighting. And that's how I was able to get to that final result. So this is amazing because on the additional settings up here, you can also send the subdivided mesh. So the character looks subdivided inside of uh, the Unreal Engine, right? And let me show you what it looks like inside of the Unreal Engine. So right here is the scene inside of the Unreal Engine. And you can see this is all in real time, right? That is the beauty of the Unreal Engine that you can be able to animate this, see the result, uh, add lighting, you know, so it's it's really cool. Let me kick out of the scene so you can see a little bit more of this. Let's select the podium. And when you rotate, you can see the character right here. And this is the sequence that I was able to load and place the character. And you can move it back and forth depending on where your cameras are. But that's the beauty of the Unreal Engine combined with a Unreal Live link. And then on the description of this video, I'll put the links so you, you can get uh, the Unreal Live link uh, plugin, which is amazing. It enables you to send back and forth, you know, this content from iClone into the Unreal Engine. And so guys, this is, you can go crazy with this, but I, I'll tell you that uh, the beauty of iClone, again, is the ability to add additional animation because if you notice, even when I, I rewind this character, there's mock-up on this character, right? The character walks up, like uh, initially. Let me rewind this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy. And so that was me in a motion capture suit. And let me show you the file itself. So this is the mockup file inside of uh, the Perception Neuron, uh, no, Axis Studio for per the per Perception Neuron Studio. And you can see when I play back, you can see the character walking up. And then it has finger capture on it. So that's amazing <laughs> and exciting because for me, I, I love that so this whole workflow of using iClone Axis Studio with the Perception Run Studio suit. It could you could use any other motion capture suit if you have one, and then you can also use the actor call for the fish, for the body animation, right? And fill you can go in here and add as much detail as you want to the character. Let's press J to focus on it, and then you can refine and I'm the leader the facial animation. But so that's how I was able to make this animation using iClone, Audio to Face, the Unreal Engine, <laughs> and the Perception Neuron Studio suit. And I'll just play with it one more time so you can see. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Murphy, and I'm the leader of the Special Weapons and Tactics team here. Today, I address you with a matter of utmost urgency and seriousness. We are currently in pursuit of a highly advanced, 
AI-powered robot that has been involved in multiple incidents of theft. Specific so thank you so much guys for joining me today again that i was just walking you through how i was able to bring this to life uh, using audio to face which is an amazing amazing plugin that uh, enables you to add facial animation to your characters created inside of uh, cc4 and animated inside of iClone and then if you with, even without an iphone you're able to create like convincing facial animation inside of uh, audio to face and then you're able to send it to iClone add the facial animation, and then you're able to send it to the Unreal Engine to be able to render something like that. So thank you as, as always, guys, for your support. If I'm so grateful to all of you who are patrons and who are supporting me currently and who have supported me in the past. I truly, truly appreciate your support. And uh, never give up, guys, on your dreams. The reason why I share these videos is so I can show you what is possible so you too can bring your... Uh, short films or concept uh, ideas and cinematics to life so stay safe much love i'm always always praying for you bye for now and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel please spare a minute to subscribe bye and see you in the next video